kids are saving ice cream for you. Kendall. It's weird. Welcome aboard. And I'm having an intercom installed in Asher's room, so make sure you keep your ear out no matter where you are, what you're doing. Got it. And I'll uh, get Lucretia to stock up on his favorite food, so I'll get you the list. Yes, sir. Mm. Anything else? I'm sure I'll think of something. Thanks, Maya. Thank you. Hi, Maya. Hi. Hey, sorry. I've been really busy this morning trying to get the house ready for Asher to come home to. You know, I, I think it's really sweet that you're taking care of him like this. Well, he's family. I don't think I told you how impressed I was hearing how you rushed in like that and risked your own life to save his. He just never stopped surprising me, JR. Hope I'm not interrupting. You look perplexed. I. Uh, I just didn't expect to see you here with Kendall, that's all. Kendall? Oh, no, no. Kendall's not here. Well, she texted me. She said she uh, wanted me to meet her here. She said she wanted to talk to me alone. You sent me that text, didn't you? Guilty as charged. Why would you do that? Trick me into thinking Kendall wanted to see me. Because you would have never come if you knew it was me. What makes you think that? Come on, Bianca. We've done this dance before. You have some issue with me. I mean, you even warned your daughters to stay away from me. Oh, you must... you must have misunderstood. No, 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 no. You were pretty clear. And you know what? I'm hurt. Because you're my future sister-in-law, and you're filling your daughter's heads with awful things about me. And why? When all I've done is be supportive of Kendall and your family. Oh, I never said that you weren't supportive. But there's something that you don't like about me. So why don't we just cut to the chase? And you just tell me what it is. Tell me, Bianca. What deep, dark secret do you think I'm hiding? We don't have any time left. He's already growing suspicious. I am so sorry, Mr. Chandler. He just walked in when I entered the door. It's okay, Maya. Thank you. You don't look good. What's wrong? Do we have a minute? Well, I need to keep surprising you anyway. What's going on with you two? Just don't start. What's wrong? Is it the baby? Uh, yeah, she, um... She didn't make it. She, uh... She died last night, so... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Scott. I'm so sorry. Madison must be a wreck. Mm. Why are you here? Why aren't you with her? She's still keeping you away? Yeah. yeah, so I'm just gonna give her the space that she needs right now. You know. Guess that's why I'm here. <laughs> Gotta keep busy or I'm gonna go crazy. So I'm gonna start working on the gatehouse. I uh just wanted you to know that. So. Wait, Scott, listen. I know that baby meant a lot to you too. If you need anything, if you even need to stay here for a little while. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. Uh, but, you know, even though Madison says she doesn't want me around, I'm going to be there for her. I'm not going to run away. Just know that there are people here who care about you. Especially me. Well, I'm going to go outside, make a list of the materials I need.
Why isn't he at the hospital with Madison and the baby? The baby died. My God, I'm sorry. Well, then why isn't he there with her? It's not like she has anyone else. She doesn't want to see him. Why? What happened? I don't know. It's not really my place to say. I was hoping that this baby would bring them together, but now I'm afraid this is just going to push them apart. Well, you know, I'll uh, order some flowers. Have them sent over there on the behalf of both of us, if that's okay. Yeah, thank you. I really hope that she reconsiders. I mean, any woman would be lucky to have Scott in her life. <laughs> Let's not go nominating him for sainthood. It's not like he's exactly Mr. Perfect. Well, none of us are, J.R. But he has always been there for me. I intend to be there for him, too. That's a big mistake. I think you're being pretty paranoid, don't you? I mean, I may not think it's a great idea for Kendall to get married again so soon, but I hardly consider you as someone bad or dangerous. But there's something you're keeping from me. I'm a very private person. Bianca, if somebody's been filling your head with stories about me, maybe Griffin Castillo before he ran away from the law, then I like a chance to defend myself, to clear the air between us. I think the air is as clear as it can be between us, Ricky. Hey! <laughs> You know everything, don't you, Bianca? Stupid, self-righteous bitch. Don't make no one getting her complications. Time to find out who else knows what. Are you warning me away from Scott as a concerned friend or as a jealous ex-husband? I don't do jealousy anymore. Oh, then why? You just got done saying that the loss of this baby is going to make a reunion more difficult for Scott and Madison. And? And don't you think if you're holding his hand, he's going to lose focus on getting on track with Madison? Oh. Wow. Like I said, you never stop surprising me. You should be thinking about yourself, Marissa. You should be focusing on your own relationships. If by that you mean you and me, then we need to better define our relationship. I am a house guest here. That's all. I am no longer your wife. Whomever I decide to be friends with is none of your business. Clear? Yeah. I'm late for a meeting. Oh my god, Bianca! What what happened? She passed out. Help me get her inside. Oh, of course. Thank you. We should call 911. I already did. They're on the way. Well, what happened? She came by to talk to me about the wedding and when she was leaving, she just collapsed in the hallway. Jeez. She's, she's got a pulse. She's breathing. What's wrong? I have no idea. All right, well, I'm going to go tell hotel security. So no. What are you talking about? Reverend Torres, what is going on? You have awful timing, Marissa. I'm sorry. I have to do this. Bianca, stupid self-righteous bitch. I was hoping there wouldn't be any more complications. Oh. 